This project is focused on designing an electrostatic oil demister for a rotary screw air compressor and is sponsored by Ingersoll Rand. The objective of this project is to, to design and fabricate an electrostatic oil filtration system for an oil-free rotary screw air compressor that, that will filter the oil aerosol produced in the main gearbox from high-speed moving components, in turn creating a cleaner, more environmentally sound workplace. Below our objective, we have some of our specifications and deliverables and an overview of the operation of the unit. Below that, we have a budget overview with our total cost coming out to $732.27, which is significantly lower than the current design, and this cost will drop with full-scale production. The exterior of the design is made of steel plate and tube to reduce manufacturing costs. Limiting the amount of bending and welding creates fewer actions to, needed to reach the finished product. The interior parts are constructed mainly from Schedule 80C PVC. Using this material allows the charged components to be kept separate from the steel housing. The CPVC will be coated in a conductive carbon-based material so that they can carry the required charge. The charge will be provided by a step-up transformer that has an adjustable output voltage of up to 30,000 volts. This allows the team to select the optimum voltage for efficiency. In the middle of our poster, you can see two pictures of the current design of the unit. On the left is a flow simulation done in SOLIDWORKS to show the flow of the oil in the air once it enters the unit. And on the right is a picture of a cutaway of just the unit itself. On the right side of our poster, we go into some of our electrical calculations that were used when designing the unit. Um, figure 3 shows the efficiency calculation, which is three driving factors that affect the output. One being the surface area of the positively charged upper collector. Two being the, negative, the surface area of the negatively charged ionizer and three being the gap distance between those two oppositely charged surfaces. The idea of a wiping system was first brainstormed to clear the oil from the collector plate. However, before that was implemented, certain calculations were completed to ensure that it was necessary. Prior to the start of senior design, Ingersoll Rand conducted a test to determine how many particles passed through the current unit and how large the particles were. This data was provided to us and was used to calculate the total charge after it passes through the negative mesh of the design. Next, the total charge of the collector was found. Once the negative and positive charges equal each other is when there will be no more attraction. The final parameter that was found was the total volume of particles. This was needed to see how many particles can fit inside of the collector.